In this video, we'll be discussing the manual move screen, how to manually control your robot. First thing that's going to happen when you turn your robot on is you'll be brought to the robot operation page. Here you'll see the robot status is off. You click the on button, the robot status changes to on, the green LED light changes from red to green, and you'll be ready to go. So to get to the manual move screen, you're going to go down to the bottom left corner, you see the circle with the arrows, you click on that. This is the manual move screen. Here is where you can move the robot in any direction you want. You'll see that the arrows are all colored, and this is all to relate to the axis that they control. They are all uh, they are all relative to the x axis, the y axis, and the z axis is vertical. You can see right here the blue line is the vertical z axis. So you can move the robot along those axes however you please, to the left or to the right backwards and forwards and up and down. Click the home button, brings the robot back to the home position. If you click these plus and minus buttons, that'll rotate the robot around the x-axis so the robot will want to go in a circle direction around the axis. So we'll hit that and it'll try and go around the x-axis like that. And minus it'll go back around the x axis. Click the home position, return it to its normal state. And the same thing with the z axis and the y axis, you can rotate around those as well. You can also move the robot by the each individual joint. You can do that by pressing the minus and plus buttons here. You plus joint one, it'll increase that robot joint to 26.22 it'll rotate around and it'll only move joint one hit the minus button back to zero roughly zero get back to where you started move the home button back to zero you can do that for any of these joints you can move any joint individually you can move just joint six if you feel like it and then rotate just the tool flange or you can move joint three and that'll rotate the shoulder. It's very easy. Click the home button, bring the robot back to home. You can also adjust the tool position and you do that by inputting the coordinates for where you want the tool center point to move to. And those are very exact, so you have to be careful so you you don't run the robot into a wall or someone else. You have to be very careful to avoid collision if you input a point. You have to know where that point is. You can click on the joint position or tool position boxes and they'll bring up these lists where you, that's where you can actually input the numbers. So if you want to move the joint to um, let's just say 20, you can only input values between negative 360 and 360 so it'll tell you the what values are valid so if I enter that in I'll hit the move button joint one will move to 20 degrees click and hold it that's exactly where I wanted to be so I'm going to go ahead and click that again I'm going to put zero enter if you look on the preview screen you'll see this shadow right here that's where the robot is going to be moving to so you can tell before you move the robot where it's going to go so you can avoid those collisions as I said before. So we'll click and hold move, it's going to move right to where that shadow is, right there line up perfectly and there will be no problems. Alright, go back. The only other thing on this page that I want to show you is this base and tool center point and view options. So we were working with the base. Uh, all of these moves have been relative to the base plane, the base XYZ axis. Now, if you change that to view, all of these arrows turn blue. Now what that means is that on this preview screen you see right here, on the controller, wherever you move these arrows is how the robot is going to react. So. Since we haven't adjusted the preview screen, it's going to act in the exact same way as base. It's going to move left and right, forward and backwards, just as you see it on the preview screen. 
I moved back to home. Now I click and drag the preview screen and I'll turn it. If I press the left arrow, I'll zoom in for you. If I press the left arrow, now the, the robot is moving left in the view box, in this preview box, it's moving to the left, not in real life, not relative to base anymore. If it was relative to base, moving left and right, it would go back to this and it would show you that it would be moving left and right. But again, if we go back to view, we alter the preview box, you can make them move in whatever direction you want based on how you're viewing it. But look at it like that. Now, left is that direction, almost forward. To the back, or to the right, it's almost backward. So just based on this view, you see, I'd be careful. Um, it, it changes the orientation uh, of, these, of these arrows. You gotta make sure that you want the robot to move exactly where you want it. Click base again, click home. All the arrows revert back to normal. I prefer base, it's much easier to see, much easier to uh, grasp where the robot's going to move when you click these arrows. Now the only other option in this box is tool center point. When you click on tool center point, that changes so that the directions of these arrows are relative to the tool center point. If you have a tool on your robot, you will set up the tool center point on the tool center point screen. So if you move, you can see how this box now moves with the tool center point in relativity to the tool center point. If I, if I go ahead and adjust joint four upwards, you'll see that the tool center point is in respect to the tool flange right here. This is There's no tool uh, center point that I have set up right now, but you'll see that the tool center point is relative to the tool flange itself. Alright, so the only other thing on this page that we haven't talked about is the direct teaching button. Direct teaching allows you to grasp the robot with your hands and move it however you please. So you click the direct teaching button, it'll highlight red. You cannot click on anything else on the screen anymore. I'll now reach up and show you guys with my hands how you can move it around, left or right, up and down, around, however you want. It's very simple, very easy. Helps with those precise movements when programming. When you're done direct teaching, all you have to do is just click the direct teaching button again and how it's blue and now all the other options are available again and you can move the robot just as you had before. Very simple, very easy. And that is the manual move screen on how you manually move your robot. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that I've answered some of your questions you may have had. Please watch the others in the series to get a more complete understanding of the ACR5 and enjoy the rest of your day.